Hello, and welcome to another Toy Venture. This week, we're going to talk about one of my favorite superhero teams. No, not the Justice League. No, certainly not the Avengers. I'm talking about the Mighty Crusaders from Archie Comics. Now, these characters began life in the Golden Age and had a tremendous success before superheroes fell out of vogue. Archie would continue to make superheroes into the 1960s using talents like Jack Kirby and Joe Simon. When the Silver Age made superheroes cool again, Archie did a reboot of their hero characters and called the team up the Mighty Crusaders. Except that they tried to embrace the camp notions of the 1966 Batman series, and, well, it failed. I collect these comics. Uh, they're really dumb. They're also kind of fun. They're bad movies made as comics. I'm way too young to remember those comics, but Archie did a reprint of a lot of those stories in a pair of late 1970s digest books that I absolutely fell in love with as a kid. I searched for any Mighty Crusaders comics and merchandise after reading these, and seriously, there was none to be found. So flash forward to 1983, and Archie gave the Mighty Crusaders another try, this time with industry veteran Rich Buckler at the helm, and he gave it a real good college try. The art was good, the stories were sincere, it was as good as anything Marvel and DC were putting out. Also around this time, Archie was producing the Mantec comic for a toy company called Remco, which was Rack Toy Giant Azrak Hamway's other name. It would seem that some sort of deal was struck at this point to license the Mighty Crusaders, which made sense seeing as Mantec was also under Archie's Red Circle or, or Archie Adventure imprint. So, in 1985, just after Archie pulled the plug on the Might their comic book, the Mighty Crusaders toys from Remco debuted to absolutely no applause. There were eight action figures, four superheroes, and four villains in the first and only wave. And, well, I'm really not a fan of this line at all. It's just kind of phoned in and weird. Instead of just mimicking the size of the Superpowers or Secret Wars line, which I would have done, Remco just made them this weird size that doesn't go with any other toy line. The figures are oddly cherubically sculpted, and they all come with shields that whistle, making them kind of seem cheap. The card art isn't great, although the back is by Steve Ditko, which is also kind of weird. I don't own any of these. Uh, I bought a pile of them in the late 1980s, sight unseen. And I remember when I got them, I was just so disappointed. And I can't wash that taste out of my mouth. What I do love and collect from this era are the recycled rack toy tropes that Remco brought out as well. They are really hard to find, and I only have a couple. Let's go through what I've got. The Stunt Cycle. This is the exact same piece that Dr. Zaius, Batman, and even Sergeant Rock had, just redressed for characters like the Web, the Sting, and the Shield. The Flying Helicopter. Remco AHI has been selling this from the, since the early 1970s, and they really didn't change that much. Uh, you, know, the, you can find it for everything from Planet of the Apes to even MASH, which I have right there. I used to have a carded one of these, but I foolishly traded it to a friend thinking I'd see another one. This was in the late 1990s, and I wish I had it back, but I'll settle for this loose one. My personal favorite Mighty Crusaders toy that Remco made is the parachuting web figure. I love the AHI parachuting figures, if you've watched any of my videos. So I buy every parachutist I don't have, and this was so exciting for me to find. It was a really happy day. While the 1985 catalog features uh, more rack toys featuring the shield and the sting, a villain character, I only ever seem to run into the web. Like uh, This isn't an intentional web fetish I have. These are the only things I ever find. I've never seen the foam gliders pictured in this catalog, the walkie-talkies, which also has Steve Ditko artwork on them, or those guns. It is entirely possible all this stuff did get made. 
it just seemed to hit clearance the minute it arrived. So I think it was a very limited run. Mighty Crusaders stuff isn't all that valuable. There are only a couple of people who search for it, and maybe a few more that care to see it. I hope you're one of them. This is one of those things that excites me about toy collecting. These inexpensive but so rewarding little white whales out there. All you, all that you see here is all I have to show for over a decade of actively searching. And honestly, I'm, I'm really happy and proud of it. Do you remember the Mighty Crusaders comics? Who is your favorite Archie superhero? Let me know in the comments here in our Facebook group Pod Stallions. Or, or you can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. I use the same handle, at Plaid Stallions. There's no wrong way to do it, and I'd welcome your feedback. Thanks, as always, for watching. If you're new to this, please consider hitting like and subscribe. I look at weird toys every week. Until next week, take care and have fun.